free but not delivered. The relationship is suffering not because you're not compatible, but you keep thinking I'm like the last relationship that almost destroyed your self-confidence. Now you're holding back with me because you told yourself you will never love that deeply again. You're free, but you're not delivered. This too can plague the Christian today because of life's circumstances and difficulties and setbacks and disappointments. Many Christians hesitate uh, and they are reluctant to move forward with a new assignment, a new ministry, move to new heights with God because they have been so depressed and rejected for so long that when God comes and brings them through and brings them out, they still remember the situation that they were in and they still remember that and act like that. Ah, right. uh, you are no longer on drugs, but you still have crackhead decisions. Mm. So many Christians today can't appreciate and enjoy a blessing because they have experienced so much hurt between blessings that don't miss that. Now, when the blessing comes, they are worried about, well, uh, how quick trouble will return again. Don't worry about the trouble returning again. Enjoy what God has done for you now. Yeah. They say things like, well, it's good now, but you know, just wait till the other shoe falls. <laughs> Beloved, uh, if you just got one shoe in it with God, it's enough shoes for you. Quit worrying about what's going to happen next. And so many people cannot enjoy the blessings of God because they're always looking for when is it going to end. If you would have appreciated the time you had, oh my God, look at what you could have done. Look at what you could have experienced if you would have appreciated the blessings that is present in your life. 